Well, Sai, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So before I get to that incident in Naledi, give us the overall picture of how things are going. Very happy, uh, quite ecstatic uh, with the manner in which uh, processes are unfolding. The measures that we've implemented to obviate a possible transmission of COVID are holding well. The, uh, there are rains in, in KwaZulu Natal, and despite that, um, there's a steady flow of voters. So uh, we are quite happy with what we are seeing so far, and we hope that that will hold true for the rest of the day. Yeah, and number expectations? Look, we, we would be happy uh, with the 60% with the, with the turnout. It's a, it's a tall order. But uh, that's what we, we, we still are aiming for. We want as many people as possible to participate in shaping local government, it being the closest sphere to people. Yeah. So let's talk about that incident in Naledi in Soweto. Of course, residents protesting over electricity, trying to lock that voting station. How did that unfold? How did it impact on the voting process? Well, let's admit it. Um, it has had a, a very deleterious impact on our proceedings. Uh, we were unable to operate for uh, most of the of the morning. Uh, we have now been able to re-establish the station on different side via tent, and we hope then that um, those that are keen to participate will do so. There's, however, a message that we need to send out that if. Even if you, even as you are aggrieved uh, for one or the other reason, people have constitutional right to vote and elect leadership. And um, if you are aggrieved, perhaps the best thing to do is to participate even more uh, and elect leaders that you believe will clear uh, the issues that you may you may have. Uh, this kind of behavior is really inimical to good conduct in a democratic society. Yeah. And, and then have you seen any of the similar incidents to what we saw in Soweto happen anywhere else in the country? Fortunately, um, not. Every, it's, it's quite peaceful elsewhere in the country. Uh, we had um, a similar attempt in, in Amasati in, in, in the Eastern Cape but that has long since been um, uh, resolved. Otherwise, a very peaceful day, beautiful day uh, in most parts of the country, but the rain in uh, KwaZulu Natal. Yeah, and then until what time are voting stations going to stay open, especially in areas where you've had delays like this? Um, the official closing time is nine. Um, where we have had to uh, cease operations uh, in Naledi, we will play it by ear and uh, we'll make determinations uh, in the early, uh, early, early evening. But otherwise, uh, we plan to close um, at nine this evening. The commission has approved different voting hours, however, uh, for the three wards in the Eastern Cape, uh, Amasati and Mbashe. All right, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Sai Mamabolo is from the IEC.